Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We are going to show you how to perform the perfect golf swing. This is the full golf swing as it should look from start to finish. Step 1 Position yourself in line with the flag. When approaching your ball, look out for a nearby leaf, small stone or broken tee which is in a direct line between the flag you are aiming for and your ball. Imagine a line between these two reference points and put your club face square to it. Now stand parallel to this imaginary line. You are correctly orientated to begin the perfect golf swing. Step 2 Grip your left hand correctly. Making sure your club is naturally on the ground behind the ball, place it in the left hand so that the shaft lies across the top of the forefinger. It should fit under the heel of the palm to make space for the stability of the club. Make sure that the little finger is around the grip so that there is no room for the club to move. Make sure that the thumb is straight on top of the shaft with a natural grip. You should be able to see two or even three knuckles of your hand. You will then have the correct angle of the wrist. This side view shows that position of the left hand clearly. With the correct left hand grip, you should be able to do this. Step 3 Grip your right hand correctly. With your right arm hanging naturally, shake hands with the club and settle into the grip. Let's see that again from another angle. Fold your right hand over the left thumb. The thumb of the right hand on the club should be pointing to the right shoulder. Finally, let's see those two hand grips together. Step 4 Grip the back of the club correctly. There are three different ways to grip the back of a golf club. Choose whichever feels better for you. This is called the warden or overlapping grip and is by far the most common method used in golf. Place the little finger of the right hand between the index finger and middle finger of the left hand. This is the interlocking grip where the right little finger and left index finger are locked together. This is a lot easier for those with smaller hands as it allows the fingers to reach around the club. This is the second most common grip. Finally, this is called the baseball grip and is used by people and children with very small hands in order to get all the fingers around the club. Step 5. Adopt the correct stance. The proper stance will allow perfect balance and poise throughout the swing. To start, the feet should be apart at the same width of the shoulders for a mid-iron shot. The feet, the knees, the hips and the shoulders should all be parallel to the imaginary line leading to the target. The right foot should be placed straight forward from the body at a right angle to the line of flight so that when you swing, the weight will come on the inside of the foot to be able to push away and do the follow through. The left foot is slightly open as this makes it easier for the body to follow through the golf swing. Seen in profile, the upper torso should lean forward slightly from the waist and the knees slightly bend to allow flexibility. This position will make your arms hang comfortably in front of your body to be able to swing more freely. There should be roughly a hand's width between your body and the club. The weight of the body should be on the balls of the feet, not on the heels. Addressing the ball, both arms are straight but relaxed. 
and the left shoulder is higher than the right due to the position of the hands. A useful tip. To ensure that your shoulders are in the correct position, first place the club in the centre of your chest and lean forward from the waist. Now dip your right shoulder slightly until the club touches the inside of your left leg. This is the correct shoulder position. Step 6. Perform the final swing. Now we have the correct orientation, grip and stance, we are ready to finally perform the swing. Another useful tip. You might find it useful to perform the waggle at this point. This movement can be an important part of the swing as it will ensure that your weight is evenly distributed between the feet. Everyone has their own way of using the waggle. Most importantly, it will relax your body in anticipation of the actual shot. The backswing now starts with rotation, not with the hands. The action of the arms starts with the rotation of the body, the hands maintaining the same grip pressure throughout. Another good tip. Practice this rotation movement by holding the club across either the front or back of the shoulders in the setup position. Rotate the whole body, belly and all, to the right and left as if in a swing. Note that the back still stays in the correct angle. The backswing now starts with the initial rotation. Shoulders, hips, hands and arms, an almost simultaneous movement. The shoulders should turn fully, leaving your back facing the target and your weight on the inside of the right foot. The downswing begins by pushing your weight from right to left and rotating the body and hips. This now allows the shoulders, arms and hands to follow, powering the club through impact. On impact, the hips are turned with the shoulders parallel to the ball. The movement continues until the whole body is facing the target. The motion should be unbroken from the start of the downswing to the finish of the follow-through. The only time that your right foot will move will be immediately after impact. Otherwise, you won't be able to swing through. Your body should be relaxed throughout. Remember, it is a swing and not a hit. More power comes from faster rotation. The hips should lead the shoulders all the way through until the end of the swing. And that is how to perform the perfect golf swing. The Video Jug Way